my loves welcome back to my channel for today's episode i will be showing you how to do a shearing or smocking without using an elastic thread so if you want to learn how keep on watching so i have about half a yard of fabric that i folded in half right here so the first thing i will do is finish the neckline so if you don't have a serger you can double fold it like this but since i have a serger i'm just going to search the raw edges and then i will sew it from here all the way to the other end After I finish the neckline, it should look something like this. Traditionally, you will use an elastic thread if you are going to do shearing or smocking. But since I find it it's a little complicated for beginners, I decided to use an elastic instead. First, I am going to place it on the wrong side of the fabric, leaving about 2 inches tail at the back so I can easily pull it when I am sewing. And then I'm going to sew it using a zigzag stitch, about 1.4 stitch length. And I'm also going to stretch the elastic as I sew. By the way, the elastic that I am using is about a quarter of an inch wide. Now I will be doing the second row of elastic. So I'm just going to place it about half an inch below the elastic that I sewed earlier. And then I will do the same thing. As you can see here, I kind of forgot to leave an extra tail at the back. So I struggled a little bit. So when you do it, don't forget to do that. And now I'm just going to sew it from here all the way down. I am stretching the elastic and I'm also stretching the fabric since the fabric has an elastic already. You don't want to sew through the gathers. After two rows of elastic, you will have a nice detail already. You can see it is forming already and you can totally put how many elastic as you want, how many rows as you want. It depends on the project that you are going for. As you can see, it is very stretchy and on the other side, it looks so pretty.
You can use it as a waistband for a skirt. You can also use it for a top or a dress. You can also use the detail for sleeves and sleeve hems. So the possibilities are endless using shearing or smocking. If you would like to see the full tutorial of this dress, I will leave the link at the end screen. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. Bye!